Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here, bringing you another episode of Hexit. It's been quite some time, but it's time to bring this back because this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoy making these videos in this series. And let's just take a quick look around our little uh, humble abode at the moment. So as you can see, I kind of cleared out this area, fixed up a little bit of the creeper holes, and I built a small little uh, farm over here. Got a little bit of cotton, got some barley. Um, get out of here, spider. There you go. And um, just a little bit of a, a little bit of plant growing there. And as you can see, there is a hideous sight. A hideous sight that brings just dread to a scar's haunt. And that is a flying saucer tree of... This is actually the mother ship of flying saucer trees up there. It turns out the uh, tree mod that makes you cut down the trees go really fast. And, you know, and when all of the trees falls down on you. Turns out it's starting to work on the big redwoods now. And unfortunately I was going to build a tree house. And I took one hit into it and it came down on me. So it was a really, 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 really sad deal. So hopefully you guys can maybe help me. Maybe there's a way to disable that on those really big trees or something like that. So I need to figure out that. But we are going to work on our Tinker's Construct mod and we're going to build our smeltery so we can get a little bit more ingrates out of it. So first things first, I've been uh, getting some glass going. I've got some more bricks in here. And here is our book. So the Mighty Smelting Book. So we'll just go over this real quick. As you can see, it gives you a little table of contents of the different things, introduction and materials along there so good read here i kind of skipped through a little bit of it um we got the smeltery controller these are the things we're going to be building the tank seared bricks how to make that and this will make our little smeltery so we got some text over here that i kind of skipped over a little bit um we got this is um some of the ways how to make some of these combined materials so bronze made of copper and tin just things like that how to make some casts so here we go. So to make this thing, we have our grout. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put sand, gravel, and clay together. Makes two of that. And then from there, we burn that and it creates bricks. And then we make one, four of those together. It makes the stone brick block. And then we build smeltery controller, drains, and all sorts of other great stuff. So let me see what we got here. So we got 64 in here. And then how are we doing over here? Well, I'll take that. This should be pretty close to enough. Let's see, how much do we have? Okay, well, we'll just make a few more of these. So we need some more bricks. Um, I'm just gonna guess that's maybe enough for the bricks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to build for, oh, oh whoops, that's a mistake. All right, get that out. And as you can see, I really, really souped up my pickaxe. Look at that. That thing's a boss. And then uh, I've worked on the sword. But you guys were saying that this sword is a little bit uh, kind of uh, noobish. You know, when you get into the game, it's kind of, uh, this isn't going to really do too much. You talked about a large sword or something like that, a large something or other. So I need you guys help on which sword would be best for once we go adventuring. So let's see here. So we need to start to make some of these things. So I believe this is one of the recipes here. And, oh no, no, we need, these are, we need these bricks. We need these bricks. And we should go over what we are doing, actually. Okay, so let's get over here. Okay, so first thing we're gonna build, smeltery controller. So we just take our bricks, we line it up like a crafting bench, and like so, and then a smeltery drain. So we'll try to remember these two patterns. I don't, I don't think they're too hard. Okay, so we'll take that, and then we will bring those across here like that. There we go, smeltery controller. And then we'll, we need two drains. There we go. Okay, got that. Now let's go back in our book. Let's flip our pages here. We'll go to the next page here. And then a tank, we'll put one glass in the middle. And then uh, we don't need that at the moment. Um, so window, we don't need that. We need two faucets. Okay, so remember these two, <laughs> these two. So we'll just pop out of there. We got our glass. So then we will take our bricks. Oh, no, 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 Scar, you're making mistakes. You need your brick, not brick. Okay, so do we need one of these? Yes, we need one of those. And then after that, we need to make our drain kind of like a bucket. And we need two of those. Okay, now let's go back in our book real quick. And let's see. And this is worth it because we'll get more uh, iron ingrates than, you know, putting it in the furnace and things like that. Okay, we need a casting table. Now that creates uh, molds for more advanced tools. So we got that and then a casting basin where we can make a giant block out of our melted down ores. Okay, so 
Oh, this is just upside down. We can remember that. We can remember that. Okay, upside down, like so, and there we go. Perfect. So, let's see, that's probably enough. Did I have any more in here? But I do need these lava buckets. There we go. All right, and we do have lava close by. It's just down right around there somewhere. So I'm thinking that I made it clear out the spot a little bit. I think this is probably where we're gonna put it. We're gonna build maybe a nice building around it for now because I planned on building up in these trees, but if they're gonna come down on me, I don't know. So we're gonna have to make this our home for a little longer than I'd hoped. Okay, so we're going to get out our shovel. There we go. And we're going to make a three by three here. Three by three, there we go. And then we'll just fill this in like so. So this is where our ores are going to sit. And then we'll just kind of bring these across here like so. And we are out. So hopefully we have enough. Hopefully, it doesn't look like it. Hey, wait, what in the world? That's my smeltery drain. No, 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 you go right there. Okay, actually we, we have just enough, that is perfect. Okay, so now head back into your inventory and if you're following along, hopefully I'm making sense because i am just learned this. So we need to take our smeltery drain and we'll just do that one first, I guess. I like to put them right here and put one right there, I think. I tried to build one of these and it seemed to work. So I hope I'm making sense. And then we'll take either our casting and our basin, we'll put those on either side. There we go, and we'll take our, let's see, this is the tank, and this is a smeltery controller. There we go, and if that's starting to burn, you know you've got it. Now we'll take our faucet, we'll put one right there, and whoop, no, 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 that's another scarm snake. We'll put that right there, okay? Now let's go into our tank, and we'll start to put our lava in there like that. There we go, grab our last bucket out, there we go, perfect. All right, so now we just need some ores. So let's head on back inside our little humble abode here. And let's see, let's get in here. So I have done quite a bit of mining to get us on a better footing in here. And I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a pretty good job. So let's see, I just need a little bit of wood. Okay. All right, so let's head back out here. And the first thing we're going to do is put our ore in here. So we're just going to fill this thing in here. Now you can increase the capacity of your smelter by doing some other things, but this is just a basic one, small one. So you can increase the capacity by building up the sides and makes it a little bit deeper. All right. I like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to let that kind of sizzle down and I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. A creeper just blew up right in front of this thing. So, ah, you know, what can you do? What can you do? All right, so I'm gonna put that iron ore in there. And I had a double chest there, but it just disappeared right in front of me. It just went, boop, you're gone. But uh, what can we do? All right, so there we go. We've got our gold in there. Ah, burning, the... no, doesn't do anything. Okay, so over here now, we can create a cast. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill that up like so. We're gonna let that sizzle down. There we go. And now we got this giant sheet of cheese and we're gonna put that in a sandwich and we're gonna eat it. All right. No, we're gonna get into our stencil table and we're gonna take our sheet of cheese and we are going to go next pattern there and then we're gonna get an ingrid pattern. So we're gonna pop on back here and we're gonna fly on over here and we're gonna set that right there. And as we click that, we can get our ingrids out of here. And there's other ways to you know make this more efficient and faster, but this will give you more ingrids for your buck and it works pretty good. So I think this will be pretty good. Excuse me, I'm, I'm making videos over here and you guys are just sitting around relaxing in your little pool over there. Ah, gosh, dang it, now you pushed me into the creeper hole. I'm coming in there. Get out of here. I'm not even gonna deal with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cower back here. All right, so we hit that and we just keep filling this up and we'll get quite a bit of uh, extra goods. So then we'll just keep filling this, see how many we get out of it. Hopefully we get more more than 10 because that's I think that's how many blocks we put into it to start with. All right, there we go. And then we will be set for adventuring. So what are we up to about seven? So I wanna see how many we get out of this. So I actually, I think we put nine in. 
to be precise. I think we did. So if we get more than nine, then we are then we are set. Then we are set. Perfect. We got ten. So that's that's not bad. Let's check how much we actually have left. Uh, oh wow, wow! You do get a lot. Very, very nice. Okay. You know what? You know what? We're gonna take a quick detour here. I'm warning you now. I am warning you. I'm warning you by placing this here that you are been warned that your friends have come over here and been killed. Just like, I don't know, in some like tropical island when they would put like a head up on a stick and it would warn people, you know, not to come over here. Not to come over here. This is Scar's land. This is Scar, uh, can't call it Scar land, but we could call it uh, Scar Island, Scar Mountain. Yeah, Scar Mountain. And I'm gonna put this right there and I'm just gonna warn you. I'm gonna warn you that coming over here is not a good idea. Do not be as dumb as your friends like that. That is a warning to you. And then I will have your other guy up there as a trophy and a memento of your stupidity for coming over here. All right, so another thing, so we just pop back out here. Hopefully we're not gonna get killed. I wanna show you one other thing to make the more advanced stencils. So we'll take that stencil out and we're gonna take this pick like so, and then we'll hit that and then that will fill around it. So just take out your standard wood stencil, make a cobblestone pick or something along those lines, like a pick pattern or a few other ones, and then you can create a little a, a gold cast. So that's pretty cool. So we'll knock that out there and then we could put some other pieces in here. So let me finish filling these on up and I'll be right back. We can finish this up. All right, welcome back. Now we had a spider attack and I go outside to, to take care of the situation and I accidentally hit Pat the Polar Bear. And Pat the Polar Bear is, oh jeez, oh my gosh. What, where did those come from? But they hit Pat Polar Bear and I hit him with my sword and he's really mad at me right now. So I'm trying to get him to be my friend again. But let's head over here. So what I did was I put some iron ore inside here and now we'll take out our cast because in the past, what in the world? He, oh, did that burn him at all? That'd be great if it did. Oh man, creepy sounds. Uh, penguins are coming over to see me. Penguin, I'll protect you, penguin. Get behind me. Actually, you get in front of me. Okay, well, it looks like he's gone. That kind of freaked me out. Oh, what is he doing? He's like licking the zombie's head over there. Oh, that's creepy. All right, so let's see, where were we? All right, that kind of got creepy all of a sudden. Um, let's see, what do we want to, let's, let's try to make the Malik or whatever they call that thing. I think we'll need some of these parts. So what you do now is we have our iron ore in there and then we'll hit our spout and then it'll fill this. Before we could do this in the part crafter, one of those things, but now you have to do it in the smeltery. All right, there we go. So we got that now. So we have that part. So now let's get the little binder. I don't know if we need the binder for, but at least we'll have the part for another time. There we go, got that. So we got those two parts. Now let's get out this guy. There we go, so at least we'll have a few parts to build some other tools with. There we go, and let's see. I think we need this part. So this will be a good tool if we decide to make it um, for farming in those needs. Okay, good, so we got those parts all complete and we can always make another one of these. Where to go? There it is. There we go, get that. Always use a couple of those tool handles. Let's see, got the tool handles, and then we'll do one with that. Okay, but, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. There you go. And then we'll just fill that in. And this is really fun. This is this is fun. This is this would be something really cool to add to, to vanilla Minecraft, I think. And there we go. So let's take those back. And, oh, oh, no! Oh. All right, well, it didn't blow up our thing. I'm okay with that then. <laughs> oh man, that kind of freaked me out. Just a little bit. <laughs> can I put any more of these guys in here? There we go. So I'll let that fill up. And another thing we can do is, can I actually combine these? Um, fill up this to make an entire uh, block, but I filled it up with a little bit of gold and it looks like I can't combine them. Okay, so we'll head on inside and we'll deposit those in there. And then we will put our, let's see, where is our extra parts? So we'll put these in here. And 
We'll put that extra piece in there that we don't need anymore. And we'll put that in there. Alrighty, oh, there we go. Well, now we have ourselves a smeltery going, and now we can create some more tools so we can go on more adventures. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later and hope you have a super awesome day. Walk over here and we're, we're both good. We're both, we're both awesome. Hey, creeper. You want to see my sword? Attack! Attack! Yeah! Nice. We killed him before he killed us. That's amazing. That's actually really amazing.